hello everyone welcome back to my channel so guys today's agenda is different so i receive a comment from you guys regarding to upload the videos on the basis of web method interview questions and answer so today we'll discuss we're going to discuss about uh, web method interview questions and answer part a and uh, this is helpful for developer profile admin and support as well okay so before that if you guys are new in my channel so i am requesting you please subscribe also give a valuable comment like and share so thank you let's start the demo here is the first question what is integration so interview might ask this kind of question what is integration okay and how and when you know like uh, uh, integration is nothing but to binding a different type of application let's say uh, a web method this is your one platform and there are another type of application uh, sap adobe api yeah sap related tools and if you want to access their their application details to our system so in the in that case web method comes in a picture and with the help of web method we are integrating these things and communication uh, with the one application to another also we sharing the data from one platform to another so in short you can say integration is a binding of a different application and with the help of you can uh, communicate the different types of vendor and also we can sharing the data from one one app to another application and this second question starting is it means there are how many ways you can start your integration server so first ways which is application and the second ways is a service so if you install the your integration server uh, you created one installation directory let's say software is even okay and i want to uh, run the particular integration server then what i do first i'll go to installation directory then software agd1 this is my instance name the integration server instance is default bin and start this is the first way second way uh, in desktop or yeah, laptop there are a search option is available search services option and over there you can search the servers and whatever instances uh, instances you created with the help of you can start restart and stop the integration server okay interview might ask the question uh, integration server default port so there are uh, for integration server default port is double pi double pi um means universal messaging is 9000 broker uh, this is not latest version but 6849 this is a default port number you can remind and uh, trading network and mws trading network 8585 and similar to mws my web method server this is also port number is 8585 okay then we'll op i'll open the second slide there are a third question reason for integration server doesn't up so might be there are uh, some problem in back end and that's that the reason integration server does end up so might be first cause the integration db down database down it not all the cases it's uh, let's say uh, you, you install the mws my web method server yeah you install the jdbc connectivity yeah jdbc uh, adapter related uh, you perform the installation okay so that uh, the, that related task you require a database this is a uh, inbuilt okay so that a case if uh, this is a database down that case might be causes the integration server doesn't up it not causes for all cases but it's 50 50 chances if you install the inversion messaging then no need to db down there is a no case and the second one is causes of default packages disabled if in case there are default packages and this is uh, disabled on your integration server that's why this reason comes up then third there is a no space in your file system and fourth one is causes of corrupted config.xml file all the details you can uh, like navigate on your integration server your installation directory 
okay then fourth one how to resubmit a service in mws my web method server so if you want to resubmit the uh, if you want to resubmit a service in mws then that service should be enabled in audit logging in mws so let's say you created one service in designer okay and there are you uh, invoke the particular services so there are properties option is there once you click on the service the properties option is there and there are audit logging is there so you need to check which audit log you need to perform with the help of you can resubmit your service in mws okay and then the fifth question difference between top top down approach and bottom up approach so top down approach means first design and then code development and second approach bottom up means first you need to design you need to develop your code and then you can create a design document then sixth question what is a clustering uh, so let's say we we can run a multiple virtual server nodes on a single integration server so you have a is1 this is your single integration server we creating a node n1 n2 n3 n4 if n1 goes down then n2 n3 n4 it will active and it will perform the work as a clustering okay then next question how to increase the is performance is integration server performance this is a very very important questions interview might ask this question so to avoid the safe pipeline if you design the code in live project and if you want to uh, debugging the code with the uh, with the help of save pipeline services you debugging the code and you mm, might forgot to delete this save pipeline so that causes to decrease the is performance so make sure that if you now uh, deploying the code from one environment to another environment so in that case to avoid the save pipeline second enable the catcher result so once you design your closed service there are catcher result true or false those properties you can check over there you can check the enabling option enabling the catcher result option if you don't require then you can set as a false also dropping the unwanted variable it means you design uh, design one document okay it required 50 fields but at end of the service you require only two fields but you uh, didn't drop the variables at a runtime so it will uh, decrease your uh, integration server performance so real time all the developer need to dropping the unwanted variable it must then delete flow st steps whatever disabled uh, for example you created a two services one is a main service second is a dummy testing service and you invoke the this uh, testing service in a your main service okay and in some ch cases you forgot to delete this uh, disable this flow service that the, this case also not considered to increase the is performance so make sure that to avoid the save pipeline this is the first case enabling the catcher result this is the second case third one you need to drop the unwanted variable at a real time in live projects and uh, live project as well as if you a beginner in new and if you uh, dear try to design a course in that case also you need to drop the unwanted variable fourth one delete flow step whatever disable so those flow services flow steps uh, as i said of flow services but might be there are some flow steps as well for example if you desire uh, in code there are map steps is there your debug log is there and if you don't require this flow steps then you need to draw, disable this flow step at a real time then the eight questions by default the web method integration server has a http listener assigned to which port the answer is double five double five and what are the different port in integration server so once you log in your integration server then there, there are admin page with the help of let's say local host this is your uh, host name colon double five double five so once you log in your integration server then there are a, a port section is there so with uh, where uh, you can check http https ftp ftps file polling and sftp there are a port different types of a port which is available in web method integration server now the 10th question 
the integration server require access to java classes for each dbc driver that you will use typically where must such java classes be placed so you need to place a oracle 14 jar files in location software ag ag like my instances is d1 as i said earlier so software is d1 integration server leaves jars okay this is my file location as let's say if you are installing the uh, sql yeah ms sql server in that case also the location software is d1 it means your instance name integration server leaves jars or there you can place the jdbc driver related files your yeah, jars you can see then the next question can you use any catch block before git last error so answer is no so i am expecting you guys you can answer me why the answer is no i am waiting for your answer guys then the 11th question how many kinds of a log files in web method and where do they exist so there are five types of log files so in admin page you can also check the first one is a server then session server session then third is error then guaranteed delivery and then service server means operation and uh, like integration server related logs file you can check over there session session which is open by client and developer users that related log files you can check in this session then error it means if you are a if you have a let's suppose uh, integration server you design in designer you um, like created one pro service i'm facing some challenges yeah you created one debug log so any kind of error related log files you can check in error section then guarantee delivery it related to uh, universal messaging so uh, in universal messaging there are two types of uh, documents guaranteed and a uh, whole array so this kind of soap uh, log files you can check over there and then last one is the service so services that run in integration server then the 12th question how can web method integration server logging date format be changed so the option is by editing the vat dot server dot date stamp fmt parameter is there path you can note it down c colon software agd1 this is your instance name integration server slash config slash server dot cnf file with the help of you can edit the parameter the date format you can change how to open a session on a different uh, like different integration server so in package navigator we have icon add or modify integration server so in designer windows preferences integration server add option is there with the help of you can add a different types of integration server we can add a different integration server we can start a new session okay then the 14th question can you delete a package from developer if not how can you delete a package in web method this is a very very important question interview might ask this question so yes we can delete a package there are two ways one is a delete and second one is a save delete so if you want to delete a package temporary so do follow delete and the second one uh, if you want to delete a package permanently then do follow save delete so if you uh, like follow the delete option then the package deleted uh, temporary and it will store in this uh, path installation directory instance name integration server instances default replicate and slavish so guys i i'm hoping this video is very helpful to you if you are like video so please subscribe to my channel don't forget also like share and comment also i ask one question so please feel free to uh, answer this question in comment section i'm waiting for your answer and uh, have a great day also i am uploading the upcoming uh, part b c and d different different types of questions so stay happy stay connected and have a great day